Hey guys, we are back with another in-house built by Davis Auto Sports. First and foremost, this is a 1999 Jeep Cherokee Sport XJ four-wheel drive, four-door, Carfax certified guarantee buyback vehicle with a flawless history. This Jeep, like all of our Jeeps, came to us 100% bone stock, all original. Every single upgrade, service, recondition, uh, has been done here in house by Davis Auto Sports. We are inside of our 30,000 square foot facility, which is pretty much dedicated uh, to building these XJs. We got well over 300 sold XJs uh, throughout the world. Rarely do our XJs make it up on the market. It just so happens to be this week that we have two that are actually on the market. Uh, all the Jeeps that are in the background getting built, all those are sold. As soon as they're done being built, they're getting shipped out to the buying customer. This XJ came in with 92,000 original miles. Beautiful condition. Chili pepper red. For those that have not seen the chili pepper red in person, uh, very, very pretty color. Uh, it's a it's a more of a masculine red. It's got some orange hues to it. As you see the uh, lights, when it reflects off of it, it gives it almost a burnt orange look. This is sort of a hybrid build. Uh, it's really a, a stage three and four uh, with a lot of additional upgrades and services uh, that have been done to it. And we'll get into more of that here in a moment. First portion is just going to be a good conditional report on the vehicle and then we'll get into some details on the actual upgrades. So obviously everything's pretty much new besides the actual body on the vehicle. The body is in beautiful condition. The uh, paint has received our full paint correction service. For those that are unfamiliar with the paint correction service, uh, it's about a three to four day process depending on the size of the vehicle. And essentially what we do, if you look at this paint, uh, it's original paint and you won't see a, a 1999 original paint vehicle shine like this or have the smoothness of the paint. Uh, essentially what we do is we sand away uh, with 1500 grit uh, all, the, all the clear coat. Uh, obviously we're not taking all the clear coat off. Uh, from there, we work our way up to a higher grit and we end with a 3000. Uh, there's a 2500 grit that's used, a 2000, and that's slowly bringing the clear coat back to life. From there, the entire vehicle gets compounded with a wool pad and 3M compound. Uh, that includes pillars, absolutely everything. From there, uh, we use a 3M stage one polish, then a stage two polish, and a paint seal. And uh, I know it's hard for you guys to tell, but the end result is just beautiful paint. It is very, very smooth to the touch. The shine is amazing. I mean, the paint looks wet. Just a beautiful, beautiful finish. And the good thing about the paint correction service is it maintains the original paint. Uh, some of our Jeeps, for example, the Stage uh, 5, 6 over there, that's a full restored, new paint, new engine, new everything. Uh, but the good thing about paint correction is it, it does maintain and uh, keep that original paint, which a lot of people like as well. Uh, after that, we essentially did our full Kevlar package as well. Uh, we did the raised portions of the hood. We did the fender flares. We did the rockers. We did the rock sliders. Uh, we did the rear armor plate. And we also did the roof as well. That's another very very tedious uh, procedure that we do uh, 
obviously the whole vehicle, the fender flares come off because uh, you don't want to tape up the, the fenders around the flares. Uh, might as well take those off. Anything that has to maintain on the vehicle, we leave on. But even the hood, when we do the hood, the hood comes off. Uh, the hood cow comes off. So the only thing that got sprayed on this vehicle are the rockers in the roof because those are unremovable. Everything else that sprayed was sprayed off of the vehicle and then installed on the vehicle. So as far as our procedure on that, uh, everything gets completely sanded down to take away a layer of paint or a layer of plastic being the, the flares. Uh, from there, depending on if it's plastic or, or metal, uh, we surface clean it and then prime it with a 2K primer. If it's plastic, we spray a plastic promoter. Uh, and then on top of the promoter, we will prime it. And then we apply our two-part Kevlar. Uh, and our particular uh, Kevlar that we use, uh, it's a lot different than, you know, some companies out there will use a bed liner. The problem with bed liners, uh, it's very, um, it's, it's, it's a little bit too uh, gritty. It doesn't have a smooth finish. Not that this is smooth, but uh, there's not big chunks of, um, you know, different materials that they, they're using in the bed liner. Uh, it, it lays down flat, I guess, is, is what I'm getting at. It's a very flat surface. Uh, if you can kind of look down and see, uh, there's no real thick uh, almost, you know, rock-like material being used in it. And this stuff is absolutely as durable as can be. It's not going to chip off. Um, it's UV uh, protected as well. It's not going to fade. And the beauty of it is, you know, it's going to protect all your areas that need to be protected. So, uh, you know, if you are trail riding and you come across a bunch of brush or debris uh, and, it, and it scrapes it, it's, it's going to protect it. So uh, it also looks good as well. So we did a lot on this. Like I said, raised portions of the hood, hood cow, fender flares, uh, rockers, uh, rock sliders. Uh, the whole entire roof has been done. And of course, the armor plates. I do want to point out too, guys, that the rear suspension on this truck, it does have full leaf springs. Uh, and we also have uh, adjustable shackles. So um, a lot of companies that are going to put leaf springs will just leave the leaf springs without adjustable shackles. Uh, but we give you the option of having those on there which they're on this particular jeep and you can adjust the setting so right now uh, we do have it on the notch up in the back which is going to give the back end of the jeep just a little bit higher uh, stance but those leaf springs will settle and also the good thing about that uh, if you have a load in the back or you mount something uh, on top of the rack that is heavy it's going to level out uh, that's why most of your pickup trucks that you see on the road are kind of raked up in the back a little bit. So, but that's fully adjustable. We have a brand new tent all the way around the vehicle as well. As far as lighting on the vehicle goes, uh, we have brand new truck light headlights. Those are authentic uh, truck light headlights. Uh, they are not the knockoffs that you can see online. Uh, we smoke the lenses all the way around the vehicle. Uh, you can still see a lot of amber in them, uh, so they're not completely blacked out. We have a 20-inch single-row LED light bar up front. That is a rough country light. The reason we use rough country, uh, they're somewhat cost-effective, but they're definitely uh, not the cheap eBay ones that if they start to have moisture, you don't know where to return them because they all come from a plant in China that no one knows where they're coming from. These have a three year full warranty you ever have a problem with that led you send it in the rough country they will replace it uh, we have a 50 inch uh, double row led up top and also the rear tail lights uh, have also been partially smoked as well and all we do is we smoke the center amber part uh, there's no reason to smoke the reverse lights because you need those same thing with the brake lights so and also, this is an Olympic top hat rack. It is the absolute best rack. Uh, and we use a variety of, of, of racks here. Uh, we have a low profile, or excuse me, a high profile rack on that one. Uh, there's a small one on that. And all these Jeeps are, are pretty much sold. Here's a, uh, a Defender rack. So we use many, many different racks on our Jeeps. And this Olympic top hat is by far uh, the... The best one as far as quality goes, it holds the most amount of weight. 
it hooks up to the to the rain guards uh, it's got a huge surface layout and you can also uh, it's got two tabs in the back where if you want us to add uh, any lights up there we'll be more than happy to do so uh, we've done that with many of the racks and it turns out great So up front, we also have a heavy duty front bumper with a bull nose on it, a synthetic 9,500 pound winch. Very, very nice clean front end on the Jeep. Quick disconnect D-rings. We have a set of Nitto Trail Grappler tires. Those are 285, 75, 16s with a 16 by nine wheel. If you guys want, we can put a full spare on the top as well. Vehicle has a four and a half inch full suspension lift. Every single component uh, has been upgraded on this vehicle. Up front, you have your coils, your shocks, your stainless steel brake lines, your lower control arms. We have all grade eight hardware throughout the entire vehicle. Down below, you have a heavy duty tie rod bar with heavy duty tie rod ends. You have a brand new adjustable track bar with the drop down bracket. You have a brand new drag link bar, heavy duty steering stabilizer. You have brand new sway bar end links. And like I said, all those components are installed with grade eight hardware. While we're down below here, front and rear differentials uh, have been fully serviced, drained out, cleaned out. Uh, G2 aluminum diff covers, full synthetic gear oil, uh, and both diffs sealed up, ready to go. Brake-wise on the vehicle, we have brand new drilled and slotted rotors, all new hardware, and performance pads as well. Service-wise, this vehicle has our full service package as well. Brand new rear main seal, valve cover gasket, oil pan gasket, synthetic oil. Now we just added uh, the bumper obviously to it uh, and the only thing that we have not done is uh, the exhaust tip. I will show you exactly how that tip is going to go. So we will install this same diamond cut tip, very very clean tip coming out very nice and close to the bumper, nice and tight, doesn't hang down all welded together. Here's a, a Cherokee we're starting for a customer. You can just see we actually strip it down to bare bones and start with absolutely nothing in the car. The dash actually just got pushed back in. Uh, we had it all out to do the AC evaporator, all that. So now this vehicle will get dyno mat floor mats, or excuse me, dyno mat covering on the floor liner, new carpet, uh, seats, and uh, we go from there. So like I said, we uh, absolutely tear these things down to the bare minimal and go from there. So this uh, vehicle does have uh, a cat back exhaust system, Flowmaster exhaust, tailpipe, and like I mentioned, it will have a brand new tip as well. Full leaf springs in the back. Uh, there's not much to the suspension in the back of these. You got shocks and leaf springs, uh, no Adelis here. Full leaf springs, brand new U-bolts, uh, all grade eight hardware. And like I said, we do have adjustable shackles as well. Uh, rear diff service, all that good stuff. Brand new rear bumper, integrated tow hitch, quick disconnect D-rings. I'm going to go ahead and put this down and open a couple of the doors and the hood for you guys.
right, so starting off in the engine bay. Besides all the services that I mentioned earlier that have been performed, we have a brand new Optima Red Top battery. We also have a brand new Cold Air k and intake system. Very clean engine bay. We do offer uh, colored aluminum valve covers as well. We have them red, black, orange, yellow. And as you see, very, very clean engine bay. Do want to point out too, guys, uh, all of our 12 volt stuff on the vehicle, lights, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we have our own, that section of our shop over there uh, is all of our 12 volt stuff that gets done to a vehicle. We have our own 12 volt guy uh, here in house. Uh, we take our wiring very serious here. Uh, there's no two wires on this Jeep uh, that have been connected together with any connection butts. Anytime we have to merge two wires together, uh, they get soldered together, heat shrunk, and then wire loom. So there are no two wires that can be disconnected uh, with any of our 12 volt stuff. Another thing, each uh, 12 volt circuit has its very own relay center frame. You see the two relays uh, for each circuit uh, as well as fuses. Inside has our custom leather and Alcatara suede uh, insert um, seating conversion as well as dual heated seats. So what you're looking at is black leather with a dark gray Alcatara suede inserts on the seats. Brand new WeatherTech floor mats throughout the entire vehicle. When our in-house interior department removes the seats, what we do is we sand down all the brackets on the seats as well. Uh, sand them down completely, surface clean them, prime them, and black paint them. That way you're left with a very nice looking bracket. We replace all the hardware to the seats with grade 8 uh, nut bolts and washers as well. The reason we do that, both for the brackets and hardware, is believe it or not, these bolts that hold the seats in, they're exposed underneath the vehicle. So what happens if is it gets wet, rained on, whatever, and the bottom of that bolt starts to rust that rust will start to creep up a little bit it's raw bolts from the factory so that's normal and then the bolts just look bad the brackets look bad so obviously we replace them with grade 8 so they can't rust but uh you know it takes 15 years to accumulate that little bit of corrosion that may take place so that's why we take so much time to do that another thing that we do with the seats, uh, which is a really nice thing that you can only notice when you're here sitting in the seat. So after years and years of people getting in and out of these for you know 15, 20 years, that bolster, even though we replaced the, the, the skins and the leather seats and everything, uh, that bolster is still flat, almost non-existent on both seats. So when we redo the seats, we actually rebuild uh, the foundation of the seat. We rebuild them with a, with a thick foam piece and what you're left with is a very nice uh, thick bolster. These seats that are this old, typically this bolster is just as flat as this seat. And as you see my hand rise up right here, it's about three inches higher than this bottom part. So when you actually get in this seat, you feel the nice firmness of the bolsters that hug you. And uh, that's done on both seats as well. Right there, those two toggle switches are high and low for both front heated seats. And we have heated elements on the bottom and the back part of each seat as well. We have a color match stitch. That's just a small thing that you'll notice in person, which matches the suede uh, inserts. Very clean door panels. WeatherTech's in the back. We also steam clean the carpets in, uh, in the Jeeps. A lot of times we'll replace them if they need it. The carpets in this Jeep were super clean. There's your boxes for uh, some of your lighting and your brand new weather techs. Once again, nice thick rebuilt bolster. And you really feel the difference when you get in this thing and you sit in it. All new uh, door pins and all the doors.
We have a brand new sound system as well uh, in the vehicle. It's got auxiliary ports. We have speakers uh, in the doors as well. Nothing crazy, just a nice, clean, crisp sound. We can add more if requested. I do want to point out too that this vehicle does have a fully functional, non-leaking sunroof. It tilts up and goes back. It functions 100% with no imperfections. All the power windows work, AC and heat work. We installed brand new rear hatch uh, shocks. Right above the Jeep logo, you do have two small scratches there that have been touched up. As you see, this paint just has a beautiful burnt orange kind of pearl when the sun hits it or any sort of lighting. So there you guys go, and I'm sure, guys, there's some smaller uh, details and parts and services that were left out of this video, but that's that's the bulk of it. Um, you know, little stuff, a small uh, antenna was installed, just, you know, little stuff like that uh, that you'll just notice when you actually see the Jeep in person, but uh, Jeep's absolutely ready to go. If there's something you guys want to add, uh, rear tire carrier, uh, tire, spare tire up top, rear lights, whatever it is, just let us know. We will be more than happy to do so. Thank you.